What is machine learning and how is it used in real-world applications? Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence, AI, that involves training algorithms to learn patterns and make predictions from data without being explicitly programmed. Machine learning is used in a wide range of real-world applications, such as image and speech recognition, natural language processing, predictive maintenance, fraud detection, and recommendation systems, among others. Explain the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning. Supervised learning is a type of machine learning where the algorithm is trained on labeled data with the goal of predicting the label of new, unseen data. Unsupervised learning, on the other hand, is a type of machine learning where the algorithm is trained on unlabeled data with the goal of finding patterns or structures in the data. What is deep learning and how is it different from traditional machine learning? Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that involves training deep neural networks with multiple layers to learn complex representations of data. Deep learning is different from traditional machine learning in that it can automatically learn features from raw data without the need for manual feature engineering. Deep learning has been particularly successful in areas such as computer vision, speech recognition, and natural language processing. What is overfitting in machine learning, and how do you prevent it? Overfitting is a common problem in machine learning where a model is too complex and fits the training data too well, but performs poorly on new, unseen data. To prevent overfitting, you can use techniques such as regularization, early stopping, and cross-validation. Regularization involves adding a penalty term to the model's objective function to discourage overfitting. Early stopping involves stopping the training process when the performance on a validation set stops improving. Cross-validation involves splitting the data into multiple folds and training the model on each fold while evaluating its performance on the remaining folds. How do you evaluate the performance of a machine learning model? There are several metrics that can be used to evaluate the performance of a machine learning model depending on the type of problem and the specific requirements. Common metrics for classification problems include accuracy, precision, recall, F1, score, and area under the ROC curve. Common metrics for regression problems include mean squared error, mean absolute error, R-squared, and correlation coefficient. It is also important to use appropriate validation techniques, such as holdout, cross-validation, or bootstrapping, to avoid overfitting and obtain reliable estimates of the model's performance. What is regularization in machine learning, and how is it used to improve model performance? Regularization is a technique used in machine learning to prevent overfitting and improve model performance on new, unseen data. Regularization involves adding a penalty term to the model's objective function, which encourages the model to learn simpler, smoother representations of the data. Common types of regularization include L1 regularization, also known as lasso regularization, which encourages sparsity by shrinking some of the model's weights to zero, and L2 regularization, also known as ridge regularization, which encourages small weights by penalizing their squared magnitude. Regularization can be tuned using hyperparameters such as the regularization strength, which control the balance between fitting the training data and reducing complexity. What is cross-validation and how is it used to prevent overfitting? Cross-validation is a technique used to evaluate the performance of a machine learning model by partitioning the data into multiple subsets. The model is trained on a subset of the data and validated on the remaining subset. This process is repeated for each subset and the results are averaged to give an overall performance metric. Cross-validation helps prevent overfitting by testing the model's ability to generalize to new data. Explain the bias-variance trade-off in machine learning. The bias-variance trade-off is a fundamental concept in machine learning that deals with the balance between model complexity and generalization. 
Bias refers to the error caused by a model's assumptions, while variance refers to the error caused by the model's sensitivity to fluctuations in the training data. A model with high bias underfits the data, while a model with high variance overfits the data. The goal is to find the optimal balance between bias and variance to achieve the best predictive performance. What is gradient descent, and how is it used to optimize machine learning models? Gradient descent is an optimization algorithm used to find the optimal parameters of a machine learning model by minimizing a cost function. The cost function measures the difference between the predicted and actual values. Gradient descent iteratively adjusts the model's parameters in the direction of steepest descent until the cost function is minimized. This process is repeated until convergence is reached. Gradient descent is used to train a variety of machine learning models, including linear regression, logistic regression, and neural networks. What is backpropagation, and how is it used in deep learning? Backpropagation is an algorithm used to train deep neural networks by iteratively adjusting the weights of the connections between neurons. It works by computing the error between the predicted and actual values and propagating the error back through the network to update the weights. Backpropagation is used in deep learning to optimize the weights of the model and improve its ability to generalize to new data. Explain the concept of feature engineering in machine learning. Feature engineering is the process of selecting and transforming the input features of a machine learning model to improve its predictive performance. The goal is to identify the most relevant and informative features for the problem at hand and create new features that capture patterns in the data. Feature engineering can involve a variety of techniques, including scaling, normalization, one-hot encoding, and dimensionality reduction. What are convolutional neural networks, CNNs, and how are they used in image recognition? Convolutional neural networks, CNNs, are a type of deep neural network commonly used for image recognition tasks. They work by applying a set of convolutional filters to the input image to extract features at multiple levels of abstraction. The outputs of the convolutional layers are then fed into fully connected layers to perform classification. CNNs have been shown to achieve state-of-the-art performance on a variety of image recognition tasks, including object detection and segmentation. What are recurrent neural networks, RNNs, and how are they used in natural language processing? Recurrent neural networks, RNNs, are a type of neural network designed for sequential data, which makes them particularly suited for natural language processing, NLP. RNNs use feedback loops in their architecture to process sequential data, allowing them to maintain a memory of previous inputs. This makes them useful for tasks like language translation, speech recognition, and text generation. Explain the difference between classification and regression in machine learning. Classification and regression are two types of supervised learning in machine learning. Classification is used to predict categorical labels or classes, while regression is used to predict continuous numerical values. In classification, the output variable is discrete, whereas in regression, the output variable is continuous. What is transfer learning, and how is it used to improve machine learning model performance? Transfer learning is a technique where a pre-trained model is used as a starting point for a new model, rather than training a model from scratch. This is particularly useful when the new model has a smaller data set than the original pre-trained model, or when the task being performed is similar to the original task. By using a pre-trained model as a starting point, the new model can learn from the features already identified by the pre-trained model and can therefore achieve better performance with less training data. What is ensemble learning and how is it used to improve machine learning model performance? Ensemble learning is a technique where multiple machine learning models are combined to improve overall performance. This can be done by training multiple models with different algorithms or by training the same algorithm with different subsets of the data. 
By combining the predictions of multiple models, ensemble learning can reduce overfitting, increase accuracy, and improve generalization. What is dimensionality reduction, and how is it used in machine learning? Dimensionality reduction is the process of reducing the number of features in a data set. This can be done by selecting a subset of the most important features, or by transforming the features into a lower dimensional space. Dimensionality reduction is useful for simplifying complex data sets, speeding up machine learning algorithms, and reducing the risk of overfitting. What is clustering, and how is it used in machine learning? Clustering is a technique used in unsupervised learning to group similar data points together. Clustering algorithms aim to identify patterns in the data and can be used for tasks like anomaly detection, customer segmentation, and image recognition. Clustering can also be used as a pre-processing step for other machine learning tasks, like classification or regression. How do you handle missing data in machine learning models? There are several techniques for handling missing data in machine learning models, including imputation, deletion, and prediction. Imputation involves replacing missing values with a best guess based on the other available data. Deletion involves removing any data points with missing values, but can result in a loss of information. Prediction involves building a separate model to predict the missing values, but can be computationally expensive. What is the difference between feature scaling and feature normalization in machine learning? Feature scaling and feature normalization are both techniques used to transform input data so that it can be used effectively in machine learning algorithms. Feature scaling is a technique used to transform features to a similar scale, whereas feature normalization is a technique used to transform features to a common scale by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation. Feature scaling is used when the features are on different scales, whereas feature normalization is used when the features are normally distributed. Explain the K-nearest neighbors, KNN, algorithm in machine learning. K-nearest neighbors, KNN, algorithm is a type of supervised machine learning algorithm. It is used for classification and regression problems. The KNN algorithm works by finding the k-nearest data points to a given data point and then taking the majority class among those neighbors to classify the data point. In regression problems, KNN algorithm takes the average of the k-nearest data points to predict the target value for the given data point. What is naive Bayes and how is it used in machine learning? Naive Bayes is a probabilistic machine learning algorithm used for classification problems. It is based on Bayes' theorem, which states that the probability of a hypothesis is proportional to the probability of the evidence. Naive Bayes assumes that the features are independent of each other, hence the name and naive. Naive Bayes is used in spam filtering, text classification, sentiment analysis, and many other classification problems. What is decision tree, and how is it used in machine learning? Decision tree is a type of supervised machine learning algorithm used for classification and regression problems. It works by recursively splitting the data into subsets based on the most discriminative features. The split is based on an optimization criterion that maximizes the information gain. Decision trees are easy to interpret and visualize, making them popular in many applications such as credit scoring, medical diagnosis, and customer segmentation. Explain the random forest algorithm in machine learning. Random forest is an ensemble learning method used for classification, regression, and other tasks. It works by constructing a multitude of decision trees at training time and outputting the class that is the mode of the classes, classification, or mean prediction, regression, of the individual trees. Random forest improves the accuracy and robustness of the predictions by combining the results of many decision trees. It is used in many applications such as credit risk analysis, fraud detection, and medical diagnosis. 
How do you deploy machine learning models in production environments? Deploying machine learning models in production environments involves several steps, including preparing the data, training the model, and deploying the model. The data used for training the model should be representative of the data the model will be exposed to in the production environment. Once the model is trained, it needs to be converted into a format that can be deployed, such as a REST API or a Docker container. The deployed model needs to be monitored for performance and accuracy and updated periodically to improve the results.